Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Harry Potter review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 75958, the Beau Baton's Carriage Arrival at Hogwarts. This set includes 430 pieces originally retailing for $49.99 back in August of 2019. Now this is one of two sets released in the year 2019 that had a limited run as I believe retail exclusive. I'm not exactly sure where they were exclusive to. I believe it might have been Target or at least that's where I remember getting this particular set. Looking at the box art, you get the same style introduced the previous year, 2018. For the background, we get the Hogwarts grounds with a bit of Hogwarts in the back which I think looks really stunning. I love the background for this particular set. Spinning around to the back side of the box, we get a better look at the interior and how you can create that for this set, as well as some of your minifigures interacting. Opening up the box, you get a total of three numbered bags in addition to your sticker sheet and instruction manual. Your instructions would mimic the front of the box back when LEGO made an effort. We have your wind guy from the back, Piece count, two pages, and only a quick uh, Lego Life advertisement, no advertisements for the other sets, surprisingly. This set is really filled with some great minifigures, starting off with Rubius Hagrid. We get a brand new print as well as color for his body there, which this is supposed to represent his outfit from the Yule Ball, which is really fitting considering we got Madame Maxime's Yule Ball outfit within the Clock Tower set that year. I'll remove his beard so then he can take a look at the print from the torso a little bit better with the tie there. I just think this is a really great print from the front of the outfit. And you get the same exact facial expression and beard piece that was introduced the year prior. We get two accessories of these little paddles just to wave down the Palomino horses, which I think is a really great reference there as Hagrid is the one to wave down the horses when the Bobaton carriage arrives. Next up, we have the headmistress of Bobaton's Academy. We have Madame Olymp Maxime, which is Hagrid's date to the Yule Ball. This is her regular attire, I guess, from the start. This is probably the same exact outfit we'll end up seeing once we see her again this summer. We get the print from the front and the back of the torso and that dress piece, which is just a giant slope, which is a little annoying that it's a slope as it will make the rest of the body fall off rather easily. And especially over time, it probably will get even looser that connection, which is really annoying. I really do wonder if they are going to introduce a new longer dress piece for her character, which will include the regular minifigure leg connections this summer. I think that would be really amazing to see as an upgrade to her character. Now, speaking of the facial expression, we do get a double-sided face, one with a calm look, and then from the other side, something a little bit more sad. Now, something interesting about this particular version of Madame Maxime is that we get the hairpiece in black compared to the one that we saw within the Clock Tower set for the Yule Ball where we get our hair in a dark brown. It's really interesting to see a difference as this was released in the same exact year as that set. Just a small continuity issue. It's not anything really to shout about as wrong, though I definitely prefer the dark brown compared to the black that we see in this situation. And then to round out our minifigure selection, we get two of the students of Beau Baton. We have Fleur Delacour, who is exclusive to this set, and I just have to say this is the best version that they ever made of her minifigure. Not only do we get a brand new hair hat combo, which we will end up seeing on our sister as well, but this is like the most accurate that we could get for Fleur, which I just think looks amazing. But we did get a brand new facial expression, which would later become a reused facial expression on a character from the Friends TV series. We get a nice happy smile from the front side. And then something a bit more surprised from the other side. Additionally, I have to say, love those dual molded legs there, getting the dark blue on the bottom and then the lighter blue on the top. Those I think are really amazing. I really am excited to see if this torso print returns in the summer or if we get something completely different. And then finally, we have Gabrielle Delacour featuring the same exact torso print and hair hat combo that we saw for her older sister. I love this figure, just another one that they really knocked out of the park. I'm gonna remove the hair piece just so then you can take a better look at that back print there. And at this point, I do have to bring up that double-sided facial expression, which we all thought would be teasing a second task set at the time, though we wouldn't see that until 2023, unfortunately. And even so, we didn't get this figure again in there. 
Maybe we'll get lucky and see this facial expression return this summer, but we have a nice happy smile from the front, and then a sleeping look from the back for when she's taken as a hostage for the second task of the Triwizard Tournament. This is such a strange set. I say that because of the amount of screen time that the Beau Baton carriage got within Goblet of Fire. You see it briefly during the arrival sequence, and then you see it briefly again at the very end when they leave Hogwarts. I'm not saying that because it has such a short screen time that it shouldn't exist in Lego form, but it's just strange for them to make a $50 set out of this vehicle. I really am interested to see what they do with it this summer as we're going to be getting the second minifigure scale version. Now the first thing that I wanted to talk about when it comes to the design are the flying horses or the Abraxans here. These I really love, though LEGO only gives us two of them and if you look at the reference material for this vehicle there's supposed to be more. I'm really interested to see if LEGO includes more of these on the newer model or if they cheap out and only include one. When it comes to how these are connected you can easily just remove them from their harness. You just have the piece connected from the bottom and you can replace that with a 1x2 plate, and there you go, it's off leash. These include the same exact wing molds that we saw for Buckbeak in 2019, though we do get them in a brand new color, this white, which we would later see return on a newer version of Buckbeak, and even in the Marvel theme. As far as posability goes, you can move the neck up and down, and you also get the back legs, so you can have it stand on its back two legs. One thing to note is that over time this connection will get very stiff, so you gotta be very careful, but it should still work. Connecting it back to the carriage, all you have to do is remove this 1x2 plate from the very bottom, place the horse right back on that piece there, and put the wing connection back in place. I do have to mention it again, I really wish that there were more of these horses, of course, if you were able to get this on clearance back in the day, you could have made an even better bow baton carriage by just adding six or seven more horses to the front, but for what LEGO included, I think it's good enough. Removing the horses from the front of the carriage, it's a nice, simple, easy, clip connection right there from the front. Some other brand new recolors for this set include the wheels. We have some smaller ones from the front and then some bigger ones from the back side. These I really love getting in that golden color. I should also note for extra motion, we get a spinny plate over here in order to maneuver the horses from side to side. We also get a number of other brand new recolors for this particular set, most of them being this lighter blue that you see for the carriage, which I think are really beautiful colors. I just think they did a really nice job as far as the color scheme goes for this. You'll also notice that we have a ton of stickers for some of the extra detailings, which you'll see on those slope pieces, these Nexonite shields, and you get the Beau Baton crest right there on the door. Spinning around to the other side, we pretty much mirror it. You'll also find a door here, though if you open it, you'll notice that there's no way to get into the carriage because this is actually part of the interior, which we'll talk about in just a minute. From the back side, I really love these curves. I love how they get those angles using the clip piece connections. You'll see that also replicated from the front side. From the front, you'll also find a little treasure chest. And inside that, you'll find three little teacups to go along with the teapot, which will be inside the actual build. Last recolor that I wanted to mention, these lantern pieces, which we saw introduced the previous year in 2018. We're getting them for the first time in this set in gold, which I think is really amazing. We'd see that piece return in that color in many, many other sets. Now that brings us to the portion of this video where we're going to look at the interior. Now in order to access the interior, you can lift up this top part, which I do have to appreciate getting some of these pieces in that dark red color, though still a color that may break rather easily. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you're facing the side where when you open the door, you can't actually get inside the vehicle. And from here, you'll be able to lift up to create a second floor. I should also note when looking at it from that other side, there are no connections in order to secure this top wall or this top floor of the build. Inside the carriage, you can get a better idea of some of the building techniques to get some of those angles right there. I really love how we use those hinge plates right there to get the angles for the windows from both the front and the back. 
You'll also notice we have a loose accessory of this little table over here, which will have that other teacup and teapot. You can sit your minifigures down in this particular section, or I guess just stand Gabrielle down here and sit down her sister. As for the top floor, we don't actually have a roof here, so we have plenty of room to actually stand around your minifigures of Hagrid and Madame Maxine, which I really do appreciate. Last thing to mention about this top floor is that we happen to get this set of drawers, which when you open these, there is nothing inside them, which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. You can maybe put in the letter that we have with Gabrielle in there. Otherwise, we don't really have a place for the other loose accessory, which is this wine bottle, which I would guess is an accessory for Hagrid as maybe a gift for Madame Maxime. So overall, for $50, this is certainly a weird set, though the minifigure selection I think is really amazing. I love that brand new version of Fleur Delacour, definitely one of the better ones that they released of her character. Hagrid getting him in his Yule Ball outfit is amazing, considering we saw so many other characters in their Yule Ball outfits within the Clock Tower set released that year. As for the build for the Bobaton's carriage, I think it's certainly interesting. It is a little disappointing that we didn't get a Durmstrang ship to go alongside it the following year, but maybe LEGO's gonna make up for that with this new set that's releasing that's supposed to include this build as well as a brand new Durmstrang ship. We'll have to wait and see. Really the only issue that I have when it comes to this design is that we don't have more Palomino horses from the front of the carriage. That's really the one thing that I think is missing. Otherwise, I don't really know what else they can do with the interior because we never really saw this within the films. We really only heard about it in the books. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't upload a new video. So yeah, that's for now and I will see you next time. Bye!